today with Chef Patty, we are gonna make cornichons with a delicious, strong flavored dark sauce that you are gonna love. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Cornichons. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fully defrost our cornichon because we're gonna separate the skin from the meat of each one of these hens. Like I've told you before, with chicken and with turkey, any poultry, separate the skin by sliding your hand through the space between the breast and the legs. This is the easiest way to do it. Do not worry if some of the skin tears because you can put it together with a toothpick and after it bakes, just remove the toothpick and everything will be perfect. Now we're using a spice that I love that is sumac and some allspice, a pinch of pepper, and we're going to rub it all over our hen, inside the skin and outside. It's going to be fantastic. Cornish hens cook super easy. We're going to give it some amazing balsamic vinegar. All over our Cornish hen this goes. We don't need a lot of salt because sumac is very strong. And we're ready to either store it in the refrigerator for up to two days or freeze it. The other thing we can do is bake it right ahead like we're gonna do. Did you know Cornish hens cook in 30 minutes? They're perfect if you have dinner and you have friends and you know that in about 45 minutes you're gonna serve. That'll give you enough time to preheat the oven, cook them and serve a beautiful dish on its own. I'm gonna place it on this little thing so that I can stand it on top of a baking pan. Normally, since I have more than one, I put them on a rack like the ones that you use to bake a turkey. I can also do it like this if it's only for me and my husband because we eat half and half. So bake your Cornish hen at 375 for 30 minutes, that's it. It's incredible, it's delicious, comes out amazing. After it comes out, you're gonna see that there is some beautiful glaze in the bottom of a pan and some fat. Remove that fat and then we're gonna add some coconut milk. Use a spatula to remove all of those drippings and create an amazing and beautiful sauce. Cornish hens can be served one per person or half. This one was big, so we'll do half. In any case, I always cut them in two because it's easier for people to eat from them when they're half. Look at those, beautiful. I'm serving them with some cauliflower and some raisins. And now we're gonna add that delicious, delicious sauce that we had. Check it out, beautiful. Delicious, finger licking good. Delicious food, amazing food. Enjoy, Chef Pachi.